Oh, like look what just came! Um, to the people... Oops, my face is out of focus. To the people who recommended that I get in contact with a company about my ripped shoes, thank you so much. I did, and they sent me a new pair, which came today quite fast. Faster than the first pair, but I'm so happy. Now I can go everywhere again. It's the same shoe, but it's it's clean. Mine were already messy. This, it's a shoe. Timothy, these are amazing shoes. Oh, actually, they also have shoes for both men and women, not just women. Man, these look so nice. Mine were stained, mud stained. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is currently 10.10 10 and I am on my way to the laundromat to go do my laundry. So after all, it's Tuesday, laundry day for me. I hope you are having a beautiful week so far. I had an absolutely delightful cup of coffee today. I had little random bits and bobs that I needed to do, but now it's my turn to go do laundry, so. We do laundry. The machines are full. I have two more that I need to throw into the wash. And then there might be quite a lineup with dryers. They, this one is currently not hooked up. As you can tell, they're working on it. Hopefully, it'll be soon. These are called umbrella hangers and they are the best thing for hanging up face cloths or anything, anything, literally anything. bird poop <laughs> anyways we're washing windows now the rate we're going it might take us a hot minute hot second a while who knows we got this we got it all under control especially with this one here hi Kona smile and wave oh she's wagging she's smiling I'm and wagging
essentials her shampoo and meat because Kona hates 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 getting a bath. Well, Kona. You know. Uh huh. First real bike ride of the season. <laughs> I gotta get back into shape. But I had to change my dress because I have specific dresses when going biking because I have so many holes and so many dresses. I can't just go biking with any random dress anymore. I have to pay, I have to choose one that already has holes that I don't really care about. Hour. Oh my. Ago. And man, am I ever out of shape. <sighs> Today was my dad's birthday, so my mom made a chip dip and a layered pudding dessert. And it was absolutely delightful. Today hasn't been the best day for me. I woke up not feeling too good. So I stayed home today. It is my turn to chip the fries again this week. We have fries Thursday and, uh, Thursday and Saturday and the girls take turns chipping. So I thought I would go peel them today so I could get that part over with and do the rest tomorrow morning. So, and I did start wiping down shelves and cleaning a bit, but I had very little energy. I didn't do that much of it, but at least I can now say I did that. It's actually a lot later. I sat back down for another three quarter hour because I wanted to go when it was a little bit darker, but you know what? The sooner I can get it over with, the better. So, I'm not going to wait till it gets dark. I am just going to go. Why did I want to wait till it's dark anyways? I don't know. Whoa! actually probably showed you but see the green spots and these ugly spots here these have to be cut off so I'm cutting them off so that I can throw them, throw them into the chipper straight away tomorrow morning they're fairly nice potatoes other than things like that that we don't want
a lot of people have been asking me what kind of devotional I use and what Bible we use. I use the I read the New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. Yeah, that's the one I read. I absolutely love it. I got it off of Amazon and then the Bible that we use is the King James Version and we can either read the English or the German version, what whatever you prefer to read. Mine is this one and it's written in English. But I then also have a German one. A few people have also been asking me why we lock our doors at night. I mean, we live in a community, we shouldn't need to lock our doors. But it's more like a how do I say this? It's more like a privacy lock. If we lock our doors, it's lights out, time to go to bed no more company please so yeah and also because we have had times where Kona doesn't want to come in at night but in the morning she opens the door herself and leaves it standing wide open while everybody is sleeping and that is that's not a good thing somebody asked me if I would show in depth how we clean grab a bucket of water a rag and your soap let's get started on doing the weekly cleaning. First things first, we're gonna start with the couch. Wipe everything, the sides, the back, especially the corners. That is where all the junk and trash usually sits. Cracks especially. Or pull them open, really. A vacuum would be ideal for this. It's important to also wipe the window cells because there's also always a lot of dust sitting there. And in between every piece of furniture, make sure to rinse out your rag. With bigger pieces of furniture like a couch, you can do it multiple times. Wipe a piece, rinse it out. Wipe another piece, otherwise you're not really doing anything, you're just transferring it from one place to the next. And we want to get rid of it everywhere. And this week I am going to be mopping the floors. I only get down on my hands and knees and wash the floors and maybe four to five times a year, even less. So most of the time I just use a mop. It, I feel it doesn't need more. I just use uh, all natural soap as my cleaner. You can use any kind of soap, it doesn't matter. This is just what I prefer because I know it's also gentle on hands. The problems that I have with my hands, it's absolutely amazing and I haven't noticed it harming my hands in any way. Oh, and if you're wondering, look, they are so nice. So to the people who have been giving me recommendations on what to do with my hands, thank you so much. They're a little bit red at the knuckles, but other than that, they are so nice. So thank you. It's greatly appreciated. I, I appreciate your tips and tricks very, very much. The reason I'm not feeling so well is because of seasonal allergies. I've always struggled this time of year when the trees start blooming, the pollen and the dust just 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 doesn't jive with me. But yeah, I woke up feeling a lot better today. I went and did my job. That is one job that only requires one person, so we take turns. Even though it's still only seasonal allergies, if I'm not feeling good, um, I'm just gonna stay home. I've cleaned all day, so... <sighs> Actually just now finished, but I don't know what the time is. 2.36. I finished. It's 2.36. I might go for a walk later on. My morning today was actually very relaxing because I did all my weekly Friday cleaning yesterday. So this morning has been spent editing, editing the vlog and getting everything ready. It was supposed to be a very warm day today, but unfortunately it's very windy, chilly and dreary. So to the person who was wondering if we're only allowed to read how to write books, nope. We can read anything we want. I get most of my books from the thrift shop. So, I have a lot here. Um, as for genres that I prefer, um, there's a lot of genres that I read, but 
Um, I don't look at a genre when looking for a specific book. I look for authors. And favorite authors would be... Um, what do I have here? David Baldacci. David Baldacci and Kate Morton. My favorite. Definitely my favorite. Educated is also a very, very good book. This one was amazing. This one I actually got from a garage sale. And as you can tell, a couple of people have read it. <laughs> a few of these books actually also belong to my mom. My mom reads Jeffrey Archer. I have... I have yet to read them. I haven't read these before. These are more of my books and then down here we have my brother's books and we have the Bible set, more random books. Hmm. Since it's a fairly rainy and dreary day for us today, I thought I would park my chair here and answer some questions and I got them written down. People are often wondering what happens if it, if we make a meal and there are people that don't like it. So when we make a meal, there is usually the main dish, and then we have a side, a salad, and sometimes a soup. If you go eat and there is something there that you don't quite prefer, there is always other options. There is always, always something else there to eat. Question number two is, have I ever had any mishaps while cooking? <laughs> A cooking mess out. We were making mashed potatoes. So we steam our potatoes, then we throw them into the mixer that we mix the bread. And you are supposed to use a whisk. When making mashed potatoes, well, me being the genius that I am, um, used to paddle. I used to paddle and put it on high. As soon as I put it on, mashed potatoes went flying everywhere and I think I spent about two hours washing down the bakery because I hadn't used the right attachment for making mashed potatoes and I put the speed on too high. You learn from your mistakes. I, have, I haven't made that mistake again and that is one thing I will never forget because that was horrid. I had the whole bakery covered in mashed potatoes. I was covered in mashed potatoes. I had to wash the ceiling. Yeah, it, it was not a good time. Okay, I can't decide if that light is better or not. We'll try it. Question number three, do we go on vacation? No, no we don't, we don't go on vacation. Question number four, I believe, where do you live? I come from Manitoba, Canada. I'm sorry, but I want to keep my exact location private because it is never safe to put your location anywhere on social media. And on top of it, I can't just think of myself. When revealing my location, I have to think of all the members on the community. And I know there are people on our colony that would not be comfortable with, sh with me sharing our location. I hope you can understand that. Question number five. Do I have a boyfriend? A lot of people are wondering that. And when I plan on getting married? No, I don't have a boyfriend. And when do I plan on getting married? I don't know. I'm in no rush. I usually think all in God's timing. He knows what he's doing. He knows what's best. I can wait. I'm still very much enjoying my life. <laughs> What is the colony's response to those that return? You are welcome back with open arms. People are always happy to see you. We never want you to leave. We wish you would stay. But if that is what you want to do, then we are not going to stop you from leaving. When you return, are you allowed to talk about how life was like off the colony? If you want to talk about life outside the colony, by all means, you're free to talk about it. And most people are curious to learn about your experience off, off the colony. And these are all the questions for now. I am going to go grab a cup of lemon ginger tea because it's actually pretty good. Lately discovered it, never, never really liked it until now.